Hey guys, today I have a Zootopia or Zootropolis, depending on where you live, drawing and I was really 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 inspired by a couple of artists. Um, the first one is uh, Juicy Ink here on YouTube and the second one is Joy-san and they do like amazing sort of lineless work, especially with uh, Watercolor and Copic. Um, check out their channels, I'll put a link in the description. And I do a lot of lineless digital work and I've always struggled to translate that over to traditional work. So I tried my hardest with this and I think it will take a lot of practice. But I I was kind of um, not like satisfied I suppose but kind of I enjoyed I enjoyed the process a lot. So I basically drew the um, sketch twice. I well, I sketched it in my sketchbook, as I always do, and then I put um, another sketch on sort of A4 paper, I drew, I drew the sketch again, and then I scanned that in and redrew it digitally, changed the proportions because I drew Judy too big, and I still think she's a little bit too big, um, but I don't, I don't really mind because Judy's my favourite out of Zootopia, and yeah, so... Um, I changed and edited my sketch digitally, then printed it out on my laser printer and sellotaped it to the back of stretched watercolour paper, which is not A4, I thought it was A4. It's actually uh, 9x12 and it's uh, Copman watercolour paper by Winsor & Newton and it's 425 GSM. And so I put uh, the sketch between the paper and my light box as you can see and um, I applied masking fluid around the sketch and for those who haven't used masking fluid gosh it stinks so much it's it's just latex really as far as I'm aware it's just ugh, ugh. so gross so gross <laughs> for those who are wondering what it smells like it smells like rotting fish and eggs it's not nice <laughs> anyway um, yeah so I applied masking fluid around the image and I have a Winsor & Newton let me just check Winsor & Newton watercolor medium colorless art masking fluid and it says that it's stain proof however it does leave the tiniest sort of cream colored stain around it um, so whether regular masking fluid non colorless masking fluid leaves the same kind of line I'm not sure um, but the only other masking fluid I've got is blue and that doesn't stain but I find it's not as effective as this one this one's really really good at what it does um, yeah so the suggestions of many people for masking fluid I do still prefer using masking tape because I don't know I just feel like it it does the job better but the risk is that it lifts. I think when masking tape goes wrong, it goes really, really, really wrong. And that's a risk that I'm not always happy to take. So masking fluid is a, a, a nice intermediate option at the moment. <laughs> uh, so yes, you can see that I applied the color in blocks and ignored any sort of line, but kept my um, sketch underneath so that I could reference my sketch. Um, it would be quite handy to maybe get a really, really pale pencil, such as a H or, well, not even a H, like a 3, 4 H pencil, and gently trace the image in so that it was visible on the paper because flicking the light box on and off was a little bit annoying because for recording, for, if I wasn't recording, it would have, wouldn't have been too bad. But um, because of the balance of my cameras, I had to keep switching my um, studio lights on and off <laughs> so that I could, because I couldn't see the sketch if I had my studio lights on, which is why some of the footage is so dark because I have no lights on. Um, if, I, if I wasn't recording, I obviously wouldn't have those lights on and there would be no issue, but obviously I like to record things. So um, if I could maybe trace or even project, I've seen people use projectors for this kind of stuff, um, then yeah, that would be great. So 
as for Zootopia, or Zootropolis as it's called in the UK, um, I really, really, really enjoyed this movie. I was really looking forward to it because I tend to enjoy, not that I don't enjoy conventional Disney movies, but I have a real special place in my heart for the more unconventional types. Um, my favourite Disney movie is Treasure Planet. And then The Lion King, because who doesn't love The Lion King? But um, I also really like Wreck-It Ralph and, in this case, Zootopia. I really like the sort of Disney movies that, like I said, that aren't conventional. Conventional. They tend not to have like a lot of focus on songs and music and dancing and things like that. Um, and I really, really like them, but uh, I had so much fun watching Zootopia, even though the cinema was absolutely packed full of children because it was Easter break. And... Uh, but the kids were that sort of enamoured with this movie that no one was really making much noise. Like, they were all sitting, sitting and watching it, and that was really good, I thought. Um, I really, really enjoyed it, and I will... I would happily go to the cinema and see it again, definitely. And uh, I really want to go to the Disney store and get myself some Zootopia merch, like a little notebook or like a, a cup or something. Like, <laughs> um, I, I did. I really enjoyed it. Um, so let me know if you enjoyed Zootopia or Zootropolis, and if you did any Zootopia fan art. Um, I would really like to see it. I haven't seen enough of it. <laughs> and yeah, my favourite was Judy Hopps. I think because she sort of symbolizes the struggle that a lot of people have with their career and trying to get their career and um, it's also funny because other than being an artist there is two other jobs that I wanted in life one of them was a police detective and the other one was um, a translator and at the time that I decided to do art um, I, I really well just, just before I decided to pursue animation and artwork, I was all set to join the police force. <laughs> and what saved me from that was um, the college, the, the local art college came to my school and did a talk and said like, this is what we can do. And I fell in love with this one course, which was multimedia. And that was the two best years of my life. So I'm so happy I went to art school instead of uh, in the police force. But um, I would still happily do that job. Like, I would love to be a police officer at some point. But I feel like Judy represents the struggle that all of us have with our dream career. It's, it's not always an easy path. And um, I feel especially like female sort of presenting people do tend to have a more difficult time trying to get careers in sort of male oriented society based jobs such as the police force but I'm not going to go too in depth into like sociopolitics and all of that because there's a time and a place and this is an art video <laughs> um yeah so uh if any of you guys have any sort of I don't know Zootopia drawings you want to share with me, especially on Instagram. I recently hit 10,000 followers on Instagram. How cool is that? <laughs> um, if you want to share it with me, do the hashtag Jellybee, and I, I check that on a weekly basis. I'd love to see it. Oh, also, yes, of course, the original is up for sale. Whether there's going to be prints of this, I am not entirely sure, um, because I don't think it, it would make a good print almost but um, the original is up for sale in my online store and you can go check it out if you're interested um, I feel I did duties for a little bit on the darker side of what I wanted um, I think she's a, a touch lighter in in the movie but I'm still learning with watercolors so please bear with me <laughs> um, yeah so check out the original if you're interested in purchasing it and uh, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Oh wow, right at the end. Right at the end I knock over a bottle of masking. <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs>